Welcome to World Mission Topics, Lesson 5. Today's topic is Let God Hide You in Plain Sight. Our lesson text is coming out of Psalms chapter 32, verse 7, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 11 through 13, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 3 and 4, and then verse 10, 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 2 through 3, and then verse 5. 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 1 through 3, the memory verse. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Selah. And that's Psalms chapter 32, verse 7. The key terms for today's lesson, hidden, hiding, and plain sight. Hidden, kept out of sight, concealed, obscure, cover. Hiding. Act of concealing, concealment, to remain in hiding, a secret refuge or means of concealment. Plain sight, in a space that is easily seen. Suggested emphasis, why God hides you in plain sight. Isolation, preparation, protection, preservation. God's witness program, God's witness protection program. God will hide us from our enemies while we are in their midst. The Witness Protection Program in the United States allows persons to completely change their identities so that they are hidden from enemies. God's Witness Protection Program hides his witnesses, the saints, during certain seasons while he, the Almighty God, deals with the enemy. During this time, God only requires that we stand back and allow him to keep us hidden until he is ready for us to be revealed where he gets all of the glory and honor. We are also hidden to either prepare us or preserve us for future assignments. Emphasis one, David, isolation, obscurity to prominence. And Samuel said unto Jesse, are here all thy children? And he said, there remaineth yet the youngest and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, send and fetch him for we will not sit down till he come Hither. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. David was anointed in front of his family, but he did not become king then. And that's first Samuel chapter sixteen, verse eleven. God hid him away in years of isolation, doing the same thing he'd been doing, taking care of his father's sheep. This period of isolation was an incredibly important time in David's life. In anonymity, when nobody knew his name, David became a person of excellence. He waited patiently for his time to come and took the attitude. For God alone, my soul waits in silence and quietly submits to him. For my hope is from him. And that's Psalm 62 verse 5. After he passed the test of being faithful in obscurity, God knew he could trust him with prominence. When David ascended to power, he was ready. And that's 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 10. And David went on and grew great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. David was hidden in plain sight many years before he came to power. Emphasis 2, Elijah at the brook Cherith. Isolation, preparation. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And that's first Kings chapter seventeen, verse two. Cherith means a cutting away. Elijah has just delivered a prophecy regarding the weather. Then God tells him to leave. The promise God tell gave him was that he would be provided for there. Cherith is a place of isolation. It is a place where you are completely cut off and are totally dependent upon God and his resources. You see, before Elijah was able to stand on Mount, Mount Carmel and challenge the 800 false prophets, he first had to learn certain principles. He had to learn what Cherith means. Elijah was hidden for God's purposes so that he provided, prepared, and protected him. Elijah was completely dependent on God during this time. But when he finished the hidden season, look at what he accomplished. Let God hide you. Emphasis three, Jehu Sheba and Josiah, 
protection, and preservation. And when Athelia, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. But Jehusheba, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons, which were slain. And they hid him, even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athelia, so that he, he was not slain. And he was with her, hid in the house of the Lord six years. And Athelia did reign over the land. And that's Second Kings chapter 11, verses 2-3. through three. From 841 to 835 BC, Athelia reigned in Judah, promoting Baal worship and leading the people away from God. However, a conspiracy was brewing. Unknown to her, one of her grandsons still lived. Jehu Sheba, her stepdaughter and wife of the priest, had hidden Joash before the queen could murder him, along with Ahaziah's other sons. Jehu Sheba risked her life by tucking the royal heir away in the temple for six years. When he turned seven, her husband arranged a coup, crowning young Joash king. God hid the young king so that the line of Judah was preserved. He was hidden for six years without the queen finding out. God will hide you in plain sight to preserve his purpose for your life. Psalm, and that's Psalms chapter 32, verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt come past me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. The mission's application questions. Number one, why is it important to our spiritual development to allow God to hide us? Number two, what can we learn from Elijah's experience at the Brook Chireth. Number three, if you were preparing a missions team for a trip, what outcomes from this lesson would you share with them and why? World Missions Prayer Points. Pray that all missions workers would submit to God when he hides us. Pray for strength to complete the seasons of isolation for preparation. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.